my pimples are popping, you know. Uh, it's about to burst like mount, whichever mountain there is, a uh, volcano. Yo, what's up? I'm finally back and after like all the food and uh, dying while eating, you know, in the mukbang and enjoying my Thai food, I'm finally back to doing a makeup video. So, um, today right, I'm gonna do a full face of makeup. Right now, as you guys can see, right, I actually have no makeup on and I look really very tway. My pimples are popping, you know. Uh, it's about to burst like mount, whichever mountain that is, a uh, volcano. <laughs> so, in front of me right here, right, I have a bunch of unopened products that we are going to try today. So all these are unopened, so we're gonna do uh, unboxing. Kind of unpacking. Uh. There's no box, so unpacking. So all these are new. I've never tried them before. So I can't wait to see how um, I will look at the end of this video. First, I'm gonna open up this um, Perfect Diary Galaxy Fantastic Makeup Sponge. It's really cute, and then they come with a set like a container to keep the makeup sponge inside. Open it. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, got it opened. Ignore the trash pile that is gonna start building up there. <laughs> So my current impression that is that this makeup sponge is very soft. It's not even wet, wet yet, but it's very, very soft. So compared to a normal makeup sponge, this is a normal makeup sponge that I buy compared to this. <laughs> like father, father and son. So I'm going to get this wet and then I'll be right, right? So yeah, so now it's wet. It, I don't know whether you can see it on camera, right? But it will grow slightly in size when it's wet. Uh, I don't know why, but it looks a bit off shape. <laughs> it doesn't look as... I don't know, man. You guys can see it. It looks a bit off, but... Um, I think it still can work. Lah. So right now, we're going to open up this new primer. It's from... Stage Nears Snake Stage Nears Poreless Matte Face Primer. So we're gonna start with the primer. Then uh, after primer, we'll put on our foundation. So this is new also. So let's open it up. I haven't put on makeup in like two weeks, and I forgot that I need to put my primer first before I put my foundation. Oh god. What am I doing, man? I put my um, from the beauty blender back into the case first. So it looks like this out of the box. Looks quite atas, ah. I'm going to open this up too. This is a palette to put the makeup on. Uh, so just a one, it's a metal palette. Stainless steel. Oh my god, the bag! It just arrived and then the bag really bocor lobang. Oh goodness. So sad. What the fuck? Just open up the brushes too while we're at it. Actually, let's open up everything first. Okay, I think that's a um, better. I guess let's open up everything.
So those are the brushes. So we have the um, brow filling brush, smudge brush, eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow C brush and the shading brush. Is there anyone that I can use to put on my primer? No. Okay. Let's put it back in the box first. Let's open up the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow that we have today is the Hershey's Kisses by Etude House. So we're gonna Ooh, it's silver. I thought it was, going to, it was going to be like brown. So this is how it looks like. Hershey's Kisses Milk Chocolate by Etude House. Let's have a sneak peek of the inside. Mmm, cute. So it looks like this. This is the inside. We'll come back to this later. I'll just leave it on the table. What's left unopened? Um, all these are just in boxes, so it's gonna be really fast to just take it out of the box. So these are contour and then it comes in uh, four shades. I think I'll just open the vanilla shade because uh actually do I yeah just open a vanilla shade because I'm planning to use this shade. The rest of the shades I think are too dark for me. Let's check this out first. This is a custard shade. I got a feeling it's too dark for me lah. So Gonna, so I probably leave it in its box. Sure, you can see, but it's darker by quite a bit. I don't think we'll really be using these three shades, so I'm gonna put this aside. And now it's the eyeliner. This is a Japanese brand. I've never seen this. I just decided to buy it from Hermo. Really, really cute. Oh, we actually have two eyeshadow palettes that we could work with today. Oh my, I didn't know we have two. If I knew we had two, right, I would like separate it, um, these two into like two different videos. So yeah, I didn't know we had two ah. Um, so this is by Focaler. It's a traveling palette. But I'm actually quite curious how this looks like. So I I think we're gonna open this up too. And then maybe I will have a video completely dedicated to the Hershey Kisses um, palette soon. But let's open this up. Oof, okay. So, this is the box. It looks very mattish. And then this one on the other hand, you can see, it shimmers slightly. 
So that is interesting. It's quite a surprise. Let's open it up and see. So, very, very um, natural shades, I think. This is. Um, I like. I like. Can you guys see that? We look. There's one shade called Heaven. And then you can see a freaking luggage bag in there. Can you see it? Look at that. It's a luggage bag. Okay, that, that is cool. That's really cool. Uh, okay, let's close this back up. And then let's start with our makeup. Um, let's start with... Primer. So... How I've learned to do my makeup recently is that I'll put the primer on this um, palette over here. I'll squeeze it out on the palette. And then apply it with a brush. Alright, so I'm going to start with the primer. Prime. So this is a matte primer, so it's red. I can feel it. I can feel how dry it is. Oh my god. Yeah, it's covering my pores. I can feel it, man. I really can feel it. I normally use hydrating primers, so this is um, different. Very, very different. Alright, so honest opinion, right? I don't really like this primer a lot. I don't know why, but it feels really oily in general. Is it oily or my face is unreasonably smooth? I really can't tell the difference. So now I'm gonna move on to foundation. So this is a Mako Cover Face uh, Foundation. So this is a very thick, um, very high coverage and very dry foundation. So. I'm going to apply it with my, my wet beauty blender and that will help uh, give moisture to my face. Wow! So the coverage on this foundation is uh, absolutely insane. Step into, into the foundation. foundation. Alright, so now that the foundation is done, I'm gonna use the concealer to conceal some of the exposed pimples and then I'll recover up with more foundation. Okay, that's a bit too much. One more layer of concealer because it's not enough. This time, I'm going to let it dry on top of the whatever is meant to cover. Alright, we're going to let it dry for a moment. So it really helps to um, let it dry first before uh, um, blending it. Now I'll cover it back up again once more with some foundation. So after foundation and concealer, we're gonna set the makeup with this um, setting powder. This is new. It's gonna have this sticker to cover it. This is new. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. Don't explode out. Damn. Okay, let's grab a big brush to apply. Maybe this brush will do. So I'm gonna use this brush to apply my... So we're gonna use this brush to apply the loose... Oh. 
Um, we're gonna use fresh to apply the loose powder. Okay, this is a lot. Um, make sure the brush is even out. So this brush is definitely not even out. To even it out, you can just use the cap and then just like roll it in circular motions like this. This will help even out the the product on the brush. And then you can just gently press against the face. So now that my makeup is set, I think we can move on to um, let's move on to eyeshadow, okay? Oh, this this ASMR moment, man! I find it an ASMR moment. When this happens. Shadow brushes. Shall I use these three brushes to do my eyeshadow? Well, I'm actually using this shade Art Gallery. This shade Art Gallery as my base color. Then I'll just darken it with probably dark coffee and then brighten it with fantasy at the end. So, yeah, we'll go with that. I think it'll look reasonably good. Apply to the lower eye as well, so that it blends. Now for the darkest shade. Since the darkest shade is a smaller area, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Okay, normally right, when I put makeup on people, right, their eyes are closed. And it's so easy, you know. Because it's like, like the canvas is like there for you and then you just draw on the freaking canvas. But now I can't expect to close my eyes and draw makeup on myself, right? No. No, I can't. Okay, now to pull both sides up to see whether it's cool or not. It does not want to stick to the brush. Why does it not want to stick to the brush? So this shit here, right? It does it refuses to stick to my brush. I don't know why. Is it because it's wet? That I wet my brush? What if I use a dry brush? Let's try. It does not work either. Let's use a different shit. I'm a bit confused. Why is it not working? Okay. Use a different shit and this works. Very well. Okay, let's use this shade then. This shade is called Revive. It's this shade here. Since Fantasy is not working, we shall use Revive. Right, finally, our eyeshadow is done. So we're gonna head into contouring blusher and blusher. So, this is a contour palette from O2O. And then we have uh, another one. This is a blush palette from O2O too. So I'm going to contour with two different brushes. So this is the contour brush for big areas. And then this is the contour brush for small areas. So I'm going to be using this, these two brushes. So I'm just going to start with using the white colour to do the highlighting and then I'll probably use one of the darker shades for um, shading. I like how the pigments immediately sticks on my skin. Look at that. This is insane. So now I'm contouring my jaw. So the best way to contour your jaw is to start at the bottom and go up. So that way there's like no stiff lines. So start from the bottom and then go up. Now the nose. So all um, the nose right, when you contour your nose right, you should definitely start from the brows and then link it up to the nose. And the triangle area here should be the darkest area for the contour. And then when you move downwards, 
um, you don't draw a straight line you just move it all the way somewhere around here and you just blend it so it looks more natural all right so i'm done with the contour now i'm moving on to a blusher i'm gonna do a light blush Now that my blusher is done, so we have two more steps that we can do right now with the materials that we have is um, eyebrows and eyeliner. So we're gonna do this real quick. So this is actually a new eyeliner that I just bought recently. This is a Shu Umera's um, dark grey eyebrow pencil. Um, this is actually for me to mod, like uh, practice for guys because technically girls we don't usually use grey colour because grey colour is a bit too dark for females but since this is a new product video um, we're gonna use this one this uh, eyeliner can turn and it, can, it will change but I'm not sure how <laughs> I don't know, but this is magic liner. Personally, I feel like the application for this eyeliner is amazing. It's very easy to apply, but then um, because it's brown in color, right? It's not very easy to see. All right, so even my eyeliner is applied right now. So I think. I, this eyeliner is actually very very easy to apply but most Japanese brand eyeliners right, is technically very easy to apply so I make it a very big wing um, because it's brown in colour so it's not very obvious but I actually like it it's very subtle but also very classy so right now our final final step is to just spray it on some setting spray and set our makeup with more setting powder and our look will be complete uh, once it's done I'm gonna run through real fast about my thoughts about different the different products that I've used today and we can call it a day so give me a moment I'll be right back I guess I'm back so this is my final look um, Alright, so I'm gonna roughly um, go through and give a review about the products that I've used today. So, foundation, amazing. I already said it has very good coverage. Um, contour, the contour palettes and the blush palettes. Good pigmentation, sticks to the skin really well. Um, easy to blend. I would highly recommend. And this is very cheap, honestly, it's very cheap. And then we have the eyeshadow palette. I've used Focalio's uh, eye palette, um, not, definitely not for the first time, but this is the first time I have such a very um, neutral tone palette. And I really like it, highly pigmented, easy to blend, definitely easy to blend. Um, I think I already said enough about the primer just now. The loose powder, right? I actually really like it. It's easy, it's very silky, but then the only thing is this is skin tone. You guys can see skin tone but I prefer um, white color loose powders so but it does its job I have no complaints it's good uh, we shall leave this for next video currently we didn't use this since we used this one just now and then we have the last two last three products actually so I wouldn't know whether how well this is would work but it dries really fast and it's not sticky, so I think it's good enough for a setting spray. And then we have our eyeliner, which I love. I think I said it just now already, I absolutely love this. It really glides on easily. And then lastly is our concealer, which is, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do la, for a liquid concealer. And this is also really cheap. Uh, it does its job. 
If you need a higher coverage one, definitely don't go for concealers like this, liquid ones. You go for cream concealers. That is higher in coverage. So it depends on what you need like. So that's all for today's video. Thanks everyone for supporting me so far and like definitely watching my past videos and helping me do shout outs and stuff. I really do appreciate it and I, I, I hope I can give you guys more uh, content that you guys like. So please remember to leave a comment down below and then leave a thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!